This SKF training film is about carb bearings. The carb bearing consists of an inner and outer ring with sphered raceways, a pressed steel cage and long sphered rollers. Its unique design allows it to carry very heavy radial loads with a dynamic misalignment capability. It will not carry axial loads, but is used in applications where its large axial clearance is an advantage. The carb bearing is manufactured as standard with normal radial internal clearance and is available with either tapered or parallel ball. It's ideal for applications where the linear expansion of the shaft is likely to be high and a high degree of misalignment can occur. Carb bearings are commonly used in applications like the non-locating side of paper mill drying cylinders and industrial gearboxes. Here, their unique construction easily accommodates expansion and contraction due to heat variations. These bearings are not designed to take axial loads. The most common way to dismount a carb bearing with a cylindrical bore is with an industrial bearing puller. The puller jaw should be positioned so that the force is applied to the tightly fitted inner ring. With the hydraulic puller, the bearing is removed from the shaft. In applications where the carb bearing is mounted on the shaft by means of an adapter sleeve, a hydraulic nut is mounted on the sleeve in reverse and secured against the lock nut on the shaft. This application requires a recessed backing collar between the bearing and the shoulder on the shaft. The hydraulic nut pushes the adapter sleeve back along the shaft and under the recess, thereby breaking the interference fit. The removing of the hydraulic nut, the bearing and the adapter sleeve will complete the dismounting of the carb bearing. For the mounting of the carb bearing with a tapered bore, an adapter sleeve will be used. Always keep the sleeve and the bearing in its protective package until it's ready to be fitted and use some light oil on the mating surfaces. The most frequent use method for mounting a carb bearing with a tapered bore is the use of the SKF axial drive-up method. This method uses a specially manufactured SKF hydraulic nut, modified to accept a dial indicator. It's used in conjunction with an accurately calibrated pressure gauge mounted on the pump. From values obtained from the SKF drive-up tables, the bearing is initially pushed onto the sleeve until the predetermined amount of drive-up pressure is recorded on the pressure gauge. This has established the start position for the drive-up. The dial indicator is set to zero and the bearing is then driven further up the sleeve to the correct distance measured by the dial indicator. After removing the hydraulic nut, place the lock washer and lock nut on the sleeve. By tightening the lock nut and securing it with the lock washer tab, the mounting of the carb bearing with a tapered bore using the SKF drive-up method is now completed.
The most common method of mounting a carb bearing with a cylindrical bore is with heat. Heating the bearing expands the inner ring enough to slide over the shaft despite the heavy interference fit. SKF provides a wide range of bearing induction heaters for this purpose. Do not heat the bearing above 110 degrees centigrade. Always use protective gloves and hold the bearing against the shaft shoulder until it cools sufficiently to grip the shaft. The carb bearing with a tapered bore is supplied as standard with normal radial internal clearance. When the bearing is driven up its mating seating, take care not to remove all of the internal clearance by driving it up too far, because this will impair the performance of the bearing and dramatically reduce its life. Always use SKF clearance reduction and drive up tables.